SATA has magical search capabilities. Most often, the default configuration is all you need, but sometimes it can be fun to play around with search boosters for an even better search experience. We'll look at how to boost matches in certain parts of our data, boost matches with a numerical value, and also how to boost matches based on a date. In our demo, we'll be searching through the roughly 5,000 people I follow on Twitter. We'll be doing our search code in a Gatsby function, but there's no reason for you to know Gatsby, but you should know some JavaScript to follow along. Let's start with SATA's default search as our baseline. We do so by asking SATA to search through all accounts looking for matches in the name, username, description, or location. As you can see, it gives us a very good search out of the box. I also like to add that it should search in prefixes phrase, which also will give us matches for beginning of words, like we can see here in CSS in real life. With initial setup taken care of, let's play with some boosters. The first one we'll look at is column boosters, aka column weights. Let's say we think our users would expect matches in username and name to rank higher than matches in description and location. We could do that by adding a weight to the name and username, giving us a completely different result. As you can see, CSS Weekly and CSS IRL jumps to the top here. The second booster I'd like to highlight is the numerical booster. In our case, it can help us push the popular folks up the ranking. We ask SATA to take the followers count and add it to the search relevancy score. And as you can see, Folks such as Vespas ends up at the top of the list because they have over 300,000 followers. But we can also do a more subtle boost by taking the natural logarithm of the follower count and adding that to the relevancy score. As you can see, Tailwind CSS jumps up over Eva, which it didn't in the baseline. But folks such as Vespas, who had a pretty low relevancy score in the baseline, do not jump all the way to the top because of those 300,000 followers. That Third and final booster is kind of my favorite. It lets us do such things as push the old timers up the ranking. We'll do so by adding a days booster within a region of the date that Twitter was launched. That would be July 15, 2006. And then we ask SATA to kind of make the score lower the further from that date we get. For every year less that you've been on Twitter, your score gets a little bit lower. And unfortunately, it doesn't really change much. Like this was barely changed, but we can add a factor of 100 and you'll see that legendary Rachel Andrew has been on there since November 2006, get pushed all the way to the top. Let's take a final look at the search with those three different boosting strategies implemented. As we can see, boosting username and name boost those accounts with CSS in the name or username. Boosting popular folks with no modifier gives us the popular people at the top. And boosting using a date and adding in that factor of 100 to really make it important that we want the old timers on top, we get the old timers on top. I hope you've enjoyed learning more about boosters to customize your search experience. Check out the description below for links to the official documentation and guides to help you get started and make sure to subscribe for more SATA content.